There are a handful of companies out there that design highly specialized guns for three gun and other shooting sports. With this in mind, you get a wide spectrum of design, ranging from the really cool to the downright wacky. Some designers and companies out there focus on weight reduction because we all know weight is the enemy of speed. So they do this by drilling all kinds of holes in all kinds of places on your gun. And then there are those out there that dedicate all their time in creating the lightest, crispest pulling triggers. Of course, don't forget the companies out there that design all these really crazy compensators ensuring that the gun shoots incredibly flat. But there is one company out there that wanted to help you go fast and cut time off of your overall race time by helping simplify one of the most core aspects of our shooting process. Looks wise, Cobalt Kinetics pulled no punches when designing their take on this handsome AR rifle. You can barely see it under its space age designs and silver and blue styling. But it took things one step further that others didn't think of. And it's this really cool trick, an automatic mag drop. But is this mag drop function really something useful for airsoft? or it's just a nuisance? I guess we're gonna find out. Cobalt Kinetics is a relatively new company that specializes in high performance ARs, more specifically designed for competition. These guns are designed with one thing in mind, and that is to go fast. G&G brought this rifle to life in Airsoft and faithfully reproduced their mag drop function. Hats off to you with a bow, G&G. Everything on this gun that you see is designed for performance, down to the handguard, which is contoured in the middle, making it more comfortable and easy to grab on a hold of. This large flared magwell making reloads much easier. Trust me, take my word for it, it does make reloads way easier. This minimalistic stock, it feels very comfortable and it's easy to shoulder, as well as this pistol grip that is angled at a slightly more aggressive angle, making your shooting experience that much more nimble. The control surfaces of this gun are slightly enlarged and designed to be easy to reach. Internally, the gun features G&G's latest system, which powers our ARP9 and TR16s with outstanding results. Now here we are back in gun range zero, so once again, thanks for having us. Now, when we talked about this particular gun, the gimmick that it had, or the special cool trick that it had, was it could automatically drop magazines, as you could see in the little bit of preview footage that we had earlier. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys how it actually works later on when I shoot the thing. But how does it actually work? Where is the secret sauce, you may ask? Well, it is in the magazine itself. Now, it's all due to this little piece right here. So when the follower, shoots up with the last BB, like so, like that, this little piece comes up and the magazine drops, facilitating you to quickly reload the next magazine into the gun. Now, these are proprietary magazines. That means if you don't use these, your gun's not gonna have the automatic mag drop feature. Now let's talk accuracy for a little bit. For the most part, we've always used paper targets and today we're gonna give the old Quake face a bit of a break. So instead of shooting his face, we have these really cool metal targets downrange. I wanna draw your attention to the one in the middle. That one has an opening on the head. Now, instead of shooting paper, which is kind of anticlimactical, I'm gonna shoot that little small plate on the head. And let's see how many shots I can hit on target. My goal is to hit 10. So let's see how it goes. And there was the mag drop. Two more. So much fun. Oh. 
Overall, it was a little hard for me to see the target simply because there's a lot of sun in the back. It's really impeding with my aim and where the BBs are going. But from what I could tell and probably from what you guys can hear, it did hit that small target on the head, small circle on the head, quite a good number of times. This gun is really accurate, just like a lot of the later g, &G offerings. Now, enough of me talking. Let's quickly go and shoot and show you guys that magazine drop and quick mag change function. Let's go. All right, so behind me, there are three targets set up. In this situation, what I want to show you guys is the, of course, mag drop function. But not only that, what I want to do for myself is I want to see if there's any kind of personal anticipation. Anticipating the mag to drop and will it distract me from the shooting experience? Because, you know, that's the last thing you want. A jarring anticipation of some special feature to happen so you can experience a special feature. Here we go. I'm just going to shoot until the magazine runs dry, do a mag swap, and we'll go from there. Interesting results we have here today. Back to the studio and let's wrap it up. Now we haven't done a lot of race guns on this channel as of late, but we have reviewed some G&G &G guns. If you wanna check out the one I did of the Alphabet Soup TR-16 or the ARP-9s, go ahead and click in the card above or you can find those links in the description below. Now, my final thoughts on this gun, other than the fact that I really enjoyed shooting it. Now, honestly, Race guns usually are not the most popular or go-to choice when a lot of us, me included, are looking for an AEG rifle. Many of us usually go for something more military style or law enforcement, like one of these guys in the back. But if it's something that you really want to be purpose driven, then this gun really has it all. It's got a really clean, responsive trigger, as you guys can see from the shooting experience. Uh, Everything, all the ergonomics in this gun make it feel incredibly nimble for how long this gun actually is. And of course, the magazine drop feature really didn't detract from the shooting experience itself. Being such a, uh, I hate to say the word gimmicky, but a gimmicky feature, it just felt normal. When you shot, the follower would pop up, it would cut the power to the gun, and the magazine would just drop, and you would just reload the next one. It just felt very natural. What I will say, though, is this. The battery compartment in this thing, for once, they made it long enough. You can stick a pretty long battery in here without any problems. The only issue is, Cable management is going to absolutely drive you nuts. This gun is like one of those sports cars that is more designed for the track than designed for the road. Yes, you can drive it on the road, but you're gonna have to deal with the hard suspension and the roll cage and all that because it's still a purpose-built machine. And this is a very purpose-built machine. Performance-wise, you're going to be very hard-pressed to find another out-of-the-box AEG that can keep up with this thing. And if you could, it's probably going to cost you much more than this gun. But I will leave all of that to you guys. What do you guys think about the whole race gun AEG thing? I think it kind of spices up, you know, the options that we have. Not everything has to have a Picatinny rail, M-lock, or key mod. It can look space AEG like this. But... Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I maybe catch you there for a couple of spicy conversations. And for cool products like this and many more, don't forget to check out our online store, www.rebelfarisoft.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you think it's cool, don't forget to share. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out another episode of Rebel TV. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one, guys.